previously on the last video we were to integrate this quotient polynomial function so as you can check it was improper since the degree of the numerator is greater than the denominator and we break it down through long division method into a linear function x minus 4 plus a proper quotient polynomial 4x minus 9 divided by x squared minus 1 and our interest is on how to solve an integral of this proper fraction polynomial looking at this integral which we're supposed to evaluate you can see that is the same as integrating x minus 4 and 4x minus 9 all divided by x squared minus 1 that's why we result with x squared over 2 minus 4x plus the integral of 4x minus 9 all divided by x squared minus 1. So in order to integrate this improper quotient polynomial, our interest is on the denominator. Since it can be of a linear factor or quadratic factor or both so but checking on this one it's of a linear factor since x squared minus one can be written as a difference of squares x minus one and x plus one to have a better understanding let's firstly discuss cofactors and we'll get back to solving this exercise so under cofactors we have got the linear factor for a linear factor we can have x squared minus 1 as an example since it can be written as the product of x minus 1 and x plus 1 you can see these two are just linear functions so we can have the repeated linear factor so you can see x minus 1 all to the power 2 is repeated twice so which you can see this one is nothing but x squared minus 2x plus 1 or we can have x squared plus 3x which can be written as x into x plus 3 so we have too many examples of linear factors so in a summary a linear factor is of a form a all over x minus p all to the power k where a and p are just elements of real numbers and our k is an element of a natural number so it is just a repetition of this linear factor if you can check here our k is 2 for this because this linear factor is repeated twice so you see now we can solve that uh, exercise then we'll discuss the quadratic factor so for integrating 4x minus 9 divided by x squared minus 1 we have 4x minus 9 all divided by x minus 1 times x plus 1 which is the same as constant a over x minus 1 plus constant b over x plus 1 since x minus 1 and x plus 1 are just product of linear factors so our mission is to solve for constant a and constant b and for that we'll have to multiply by this denominator both sides for the left hand side we'll be left with 
4x minus 9 since this part is going to cancel itself and for the right hand side you can see x minus 1 is going to cancel x minus 1 and be left with a into x plus 1 and for this other part x plus 1 will cancel with x plus 1 and be left with b into x minus 1 so this equation that we have here it supports for all x an element of real numbers so we can use cases to solve for the value of a and b so in order to solve for a we must make sure we make this part to be zero and for that x has to be equals to one so if x is one we'll find the value of a and also for us to solve b it means x has to be negative one for this part to be zero then we can solve for b so in this case we have two cases if x equals to one what happens what is the value of a and also if x equals to negative one what is the value of b let's start if x equals to one then we have four times one minus nine on the left hand side which is nothing but negative five which is the same as a into one plus one plus zero in other words is the same as two a since you know very much well that one minus one is zero and zero times b becomes zero so that's why this equation it is as it is so and hence your value of a is nothing but negative 5 over 2. now we know what is a what about b if x is the same as negative 1 then the left hand side is 4 times negative 1 minus 9 which is negative 13 which is the same as 0 plus b into negative 1 negative 1 which is 0 plus negative 2b in other words negative 13 is the same as negative 2b since you know very much well that this part will go to 0 because negative 1 plus 1 is 0 and 0 times a becomes 0 and this part is negative 1 negative 1 we get negative 2b so and hence your b is nothing but 13 over 2. so now that you know your values of a and b you can substitute into your original equation that you are supposed to integrate and you proceed because of this as you can see here your integral of 4x minus 9 divided by x squared minus 1 becomes the integral of negative 5 over 2 divided by x minus 1 plus 13 over 2 divided by x plus 1 which can be simplified further into negative 5 over 2 the integral of 1 over x minus 1 plus 13 over 2 the integral of 1 over x plus 1 and we get the results as negative 5 over 2 lean absolute value of x minus 1 plus 13 over 2 lean absolute value of x plus 1 and therefore the integration of the original polynomial that we're supposed to integrate in this exercise is the integral of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x minus 5 all divided by x squared minus 1 which is nothing but x squared over 2 minus 4x 
plus the integral of 4x minus 9 divided by x squared minus 1, which we evaluated to be this. So we have this as our result. So we're just adding c at the end because here we're dealing with indefinite integral. Thank you. Keep on subscribing.